Studios, so we finally made it inside. We unfortunately got here right as the park was opening. Extra magic hours started uh, three hours ago, but we got here like right when the actual park was opening. And for whatever reason, Jennings band was not linked to his ticket like it was last time. All right, Keystone Clothiers is open again. Have to go in there later. Stumped him. We're looking for a Mickey pretzel. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, Mickey pretzel. Here we go. All right. We are headed into Galaxy's Edge. So excited. Hi, yes, please. Thank you. I just got a map. Here we go, we're entering Batu. Wow, it's pretty cool. All right, so I'm excited to see this Millennium Falcon whenever we come up on it. Even the, even the drink stands are all themed. Look at that, that's so cool. Oh, there's Chewie and Ray. Look, there's Chewie and Ray, let's go up there. Live broadcasting. What do you think of Galaxy's Edge so far? Do you like Galaxy? it? Is it cool? <laughs> Toast! Toast! Oh, awesome. Look at those. Oh, look. Here. Get up there. If the resistance is here, we will destroy them. So cool. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. That is incredible. I think it's going to say Jesus, too. Look. Somebody's riding in the sky. All right, we are headed into Oga's Cantina. We are um, going to be standing at a table. Uh, with another family. Strap in for turbulence. Okay, so we are in Oga's Cantina and we got a very loud, very loud and we got a blue abantha, uh, which is some some concoction that has a sugar cookie on top of it. And then the kids each got a drink. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the the drinks in here are not cheap. Um, they are like crazy. We were gonna get a Bloody Mary. It's like eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars. Um, yeah, and we're not eating here because we are going to actually use one of our quick service meals and go over to Ronto Roasters after this and get breakfast over there. I hope that the camera can even hear me because it is so loud in here. Right, so we just left Oga's Cantina. It was interesting. It was really expensive. Blue milk with a sugar cookie on top was $13. We didn't even look at the alcohol stuff. Uh, actually, the uh, Bloody Mary was $18, so we didn't look at the alcohol stuff. Anyway, we are headed into um, the First Order store. Some stormtroopers up there. Super cool 
theming everywhere. First order store, I love it. That's some pretty cool stuff in here. An interesting coffee mug. Uh oh, what'd they find? So what do you think? Very cool land. Very, very cool. Um, I like the characters like all just like moving around and stuff. It's different than, you know, normal. Um, like here comes the stormtroopers again. Like, All right, so we have just walked into the droid depot um, to look around. So that's actually where like you build the droid, which is pretty cool. like there's like all kinds of personality chips and sounds and stuff like that you can get. All right, so we're still walking through Galaxy's Edge. Um, it's really just a cool land. Very, very well themed. Um, that's the marketplace. We'll definitely go in there. We're starving. Oh, is that Ronto Roaster Roasters? Oh, okay. Sorry, I can't see anything. <gasps> oh, there's the Millennium Falcon. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! The Millennium Falcon's over there. Do you see it? Alright, so we just walked into Ronto Rooster Roasters. I can always say roosters. And there's like a a droid that's roasting the meat. It's kinda cool. There we go. We came to Ronto Roasters. We got a couple of Ronto morning wraps and one regular Ronto wrap for Aiden. I think Galaxy Red is awesome and it's a must do. A must do. So I'm kind of excited. I already tried it. Sorry. Did you like it? Yeah. It's good. We got a Ronto breakfast wrap, and then Aiden got just the regular um, Ronto wrap. Uh, so his has like slaw and stuff on it, uh, which looks pretty tasty. Is it good? Yeah, I thought that this was water. It's not water. It's not water. <laughs> that surprised me. <laughs> now let's try this thing. Oh. Yeah, what is it? Isn't that a cool hat? Yeah. All right, so we have found the marketplace. This is right around the corner from uh, Ronto Roasters, and it's hard to get in there, hard to see in there. Do they have anything good? Okay. Coffee mugs and water bottles over here. Uh-oh, what'd you find? A stuffed animal. And then we've got some pens. Lots of pens. Mom? Tell you what, this place is uh, a little crowded today. Okay, I think we found the creature stall. Little bug and his place of happiness. Anything stuffed animals? Oh man. Huh, <laughs> What is it? Can I have a hug? Kenny, stop. Alright, so all of these shops are in this area called the Marketplace, which there is way more room to walk in the main promenade than there is to actually get in these stores. They are super tiny. I uh, had to come out. There's that creature store that we were just in. There's some more souvenir stores across the way, but man, they're small. All in all, it's a really cool land. Um, man, it's beautiful out there. 
All right, continuing on through the marketplace. What we got there? Oh, huh. Aiden said we should get this for Thea because did you see that cat in that cage over there? It was like snuggling with it. Jennings, what is that? Music player. I don't know. So we're getting closer to the Millennium Falcon. I'm not sure what that is. Jennings, Aiden. Wow. Okay, this is cool. Jedi figurines. We got some mini busts. There. All right, so we're gonna hopefully do better this trip. Got a better microphone on this thing. Um, I don't know where my family went. So it's really cool. It's a really cool place. That little guy up there. That's kind of cool. Not sure what this place is. It looks cool. What do you think? This is a really cool shop. Very well themed. Yeah, very cool. I don't know what I did. <laughs> yes, the, well, this is a Jedi holocron, and then that's a Sith holocron. And then if you put your fingers on each of the black dots, then you receive a message. <laughs> You have to put your fingers on both black dots and it'll give you a message. This message is a warning if you are alive or any surviving chest. Just in. And then these crystals, the type of crystals that are in the holocrons, they also work at Savi's so that change the blade color. So, Aiden is checking out the lightsabers. Oh my. This one's like heavy and cute. I kind of love this. <laughs> It is $250. I can promise you it's not free. I don't know, I can't find a... I can't find a tag. And I'm afraid if I pull too hard, all of these are going to fall off. $125. Wow. Better than $250. Yeah, uh, these lightsabers, oh my gosh, look at that lightsaber. That's a double-ended lightsaber. <laughs> that is crazy. So, the lightsabers in this shop, do we know the name of the shop? No. Okay, well, we'll figure out the name of the shop. The lightsabers, the lightsabers in this shop are the legacy lightsabers, which means they do not come apart. You cannot change the kyber crystal. They are cheaper, so... Uh, anywhere from like $130, $150, um, but you don't build them, it's not like Sabi's workshop. Um, but man, you can get Kylo Ren's lightsaber. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, this place is awesome. It's the Millennium Falcon. Life size. What do you think? I want one. A Millennium Falcon? Yep. Pretty neat. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, hey, look, you can look at this. Thank you. I want to see it. 
Yeah, okay. Sorry about I think that. I would yeah, want okay. this one yeah, if I built one. Friend, uh, with, uh, the transactors right here. But I don't know if I want to build one or if I want What's going on? He can't define. He doesn't know what he wants to do. He can't. It's so funny because he came going, I'm not going to spend any money on this trip. <laughs> <laughs> what did you find? <laughs> All right, so we are now in line for Smuggler's Run. Yes, Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. Jennings wanted to wait in line. This is unusual. He is the one that wanted to wait in line. Yes, he is. So, hopefully he likes it. The line right now is 80 minutes long, which is shorter than the 120 it was about an hour ago. So, he decided to take advantage of it. So, we are still standing in line for Smuggler's Run. Leslie got suckered in by the boys winning a snack credit for the Thermal Detonator Coke bottle. <laughs> Thermal detonator. And by the time I got there, I had to run in. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're in the queue for Smuggler's Run. It's a pretty awesome queue. Yeah. It's a uh, what, 80 minute wait? We've been here, what, about an hour? So, at least um, it was mostly shaded outside and inside is pretty cool. Bye bye. We better go before he changes his mind. Move along, my friends. Listen carefully and remember. I'm an engineer. Hey, we're gonna run. Feel free to wander all the side of the ship over here. We made it in the Millennium Falcon. There's the chess table. <laughs> Here we go. Welcome, welcome. Ride this way, my friends. Come closer. Come closer. Right, pilot, push the flashing button to take off. Pilot on the left, move your stick to fly right and left. I was just about to say that. Pilot on the right. Pull back on the stick to fly up. And push forward to fly down. Weapons are on line. Don't let me ever be this alone. I'm 
falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling. Shouldn't be trusting me, I could be making it all up, you know. 